Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today is day two at the Herkimer Diamond Mines. So yesterday we were at the one called the Herkimer Diamond Mines, um, which is also the KOA campground that we're staying at. Today we're heading over to Ace of Diamonds Mine, which is just down the road a little bit. Um, it rained a little bit last night, so we're really hoping that there'll be just a little bit of um, washout and hopefully some new crystals will be exposed that were previously buried. So uh, I've got some supplies behind me. I'll go over what we're taking with us. Um, just to recommend what you should take with you if you're going to be out here. Alright, so here is the gear we're taking with us. Um, we took a couple different sized strainers to sift through the loose dirt to look for small, loose Herkimers. Um, if you don't want to buy a big strainer, these are at the dollar store. They work okay. You won't get the really tiny ones, but you might find something. Sunscreen. A bucket to bring home bigger finds. Um, knee pads, I'd recommend them. It makes it a lot easier to kneel down if you're hitting a rock. A couple different shovels, especially if you're going to be using the strainers. Uh, gloves are really nice to have because otherwise your hands get real beat up real fast. Uh, different types of hammers. They uh, think with your admission, at least at the Herkimer Diamond Mine, they give you a hammer to use and borrow if you want but uh we had our own so safety glasses are important they don't require them but like seriously use safety glasses it's important um lots of different types of chisels if you're gonna be working at the wall you definitely want to uh chisels but even if you're just breaking open rocks i end up using this guy a lot i like the the hand guard on him so i'm not gonna hit my hand um, it's our big toolbox bucket. Uh, a spray bottle wasn't super useful yesterday, but um, we ended up just using it mostly to spray the backs of our necks to cool off, and then water to drink. Um, yeah, make sure you stay hydrated out there. There's not a lot of shade. Uh, and then we have a couple different things you can store your smaller finds in. Either Ziploc baggies, or we have these little containers that's with a cap that screws on that I think are going to be better at keeping uh, your your finds safe since the Ziploc bags can get holes or just not seal right and then you lose all of your finds. So something hard to store your finds in is good. Um, other than that, I didn't put a sun hat on the table. I think it's still in the tent. But uh, there's not a lot of shade. Wear a hat, bring water. Um, Good shoes. I mean, there were people there in sandals yesterday, but um, we're wearing our boots. Just, it's rough terrain to walk on. You don't want to hurt your ankle, and if you drop a rock on your toe, that's no fun either. So, good boots, good hat, water, safety glasses, and something to store your finds. So, that's, that's that. So right where you first come in, there's a big pile that you can sift through. You can either rent strainers or bring your own. We brought our own, but they rent pretty much the same ones that we brought. So uh, you fill it up and then wash it out at the sluice pocket and see what you can find. We found a few here already. We've only been here maybe 20 minutes. So we're gonna do one more scoop here and then we're gonna move on to another area of the mine. And Alex, dig away. rock hammer would probably be good for this too. We've got the two strainers, we've got a more coarse grain strainer for the top and then a finer one for the bottom so hopefully we can catch everything. Twigs over here. 
this is that one. So, first big Herkimer, not the best as far as faceting goes. It's a little just chunk that was broken up, but it's quartz. It's a Herkimer. Alex found a good one in his screen. Do you guys see it? Alex, where is it? There it is. little chip but it's still got the shape. Yeah, it's the double double terminated faceted. Awesome. All right, this is the map they gave us of the site. We uh, explored a little bit down at the bottom here in this loose crystal area with the sluice. But we're gonna go up the hill and check out the area back here. Um, see if it's maybe a little bit less picked over. Uh, although we've had a lot of success already for being here 20 minutes, half hour, I guess now. But uh, let's go see. So we're parked up here, much quieter section, but tons of rock to break through. Find anything yet, Alex? Oh, yeah. We're hoping to find a good piece in a matrix. I see a sparkle over there. Maybe I'll go see if I can find it. Okay. You got one? Yep. Right here. Yay! I think he might have come out of this little pocket here. Nice. Success! Found my sparkle rock and ended up being a whole bunch of Drews. Drews quartz. There's some lines in here. Maybe I'll try to break this one open. But uh, we'll see. I found this little piece just laying on the ground. Not any perfect terminations, but it's nice and clear and pretty. I like it. So this rock has a pocket with a little bunch of little calcite crystals on it. Um, one of the ways to tell the difference between calcite and quartz, well, you got the crystal structure and then the cleavage plane. So calcite has some nice cleavage planes that are like flat and shiny, um, where it would break apart naturally if, if it were to, or how it grows, they'll be kind of natural planes. So these are calcite crystals in here. This one, right here in the rock, right open for all to see. So I went to go and get a little baggie for some of the ones I just found. And I found this nice piece that has a whole bunch of calcite crystals in the pockets. So it's kind of a big piece, but it's nice. I want to clean it out when I get home. So we're taking the whole thing with us. All right, and then this one was just in the parking lot. Perfect little Herkimer in the Matrix, just laying in the road. I'm just laying in the road. Crazy. Alex found something else. Oh, look at it. Hold on, let me. Another little tiny crystal just in the Matrix. So cute. I just have a tiny one. Just laying. Wait, point it out for me again for the camera. I got my glasses. Tiny one right in there. I found this little one right, uh, right in there. Then he's got a whole bunch of big ones in this piece here. They're a little chipped. We got one there. We got one over here as well. So maybe some little ones there. All right, look at this. There's one, two. I thought I saw a third one. It's a little chunk here. At least three in a pebble. Ooh. Just sitting right on top of this rock. Finally came back to my rock that has the Drews inside to break open those cracks. But next to it, over here, is a perfect little hipmore in the matrix. I wonder if I can get that rock out though. It's kind of big. So maybe we can break it up. I don't want to hurt the rock the crystal though. Ugh. Can't talk. I don't want to hurt the crystal though. Broke open this rock to get the, the crystal drews along the crack. And look at this one. It's so big. Oh, I almost lost it. Nice. <laughs> That's my best find yet. You found all the other good ones. Find anything? Very nice. 
It was nice. There he is. That's actually a pretty big piece. Cool. All right. The rock itself is a Cambrian Age dollar stone called the Little Falls dollar stone. It was formed as an ancient seafloor and the occasional fossil can be found, although we didn't see any in our visit, with the exception of stromatolites. The Herkimers themselves aren't actually diamonds. They're really quartz, but a true Herkimer is terminated at both ends, making it look like a faceted gemstone. Look at right down here. There's a quite a big chunk. I had to take my gloves off to get it. There it is. Not faceted, just a chunk, but still cool. We were back walking. We were walking back to the car to get some water, and Alex found this nice piece in, a ma in the matrix. Um, it's a little broken up in the end, but it's pretty big in size, and I think it looks cool. I see one in the dirt. You see it? Oh, right there. It's actually a really good sized one. Let me, let me take my glove off and get it out. Right here. Actually, that's two of them. Focus. There you go. Two little herks. Ooh. Look at this one. Look at that. It's huge. I wonder if we can get that out of there. Oh, nice. There's like a whole bunch in there. Like one, two, three. And then you got more. Got the one over there. And then there was the one in this one. Sweet. Nice calcite on the end too. Ooh. I like the calcite. It's got a good crystal structure here. This almost looks like glacial striations on this piece. So I could be totally wrong on that. But if it was at the very top of the bedrock and you had glaciers moving over it, it would have scoured away and carved lineations into the rock. There's some sort of rounded boulder that looks like a glacial erratic, so I'm kind of keen on my glacial striation theory for that last rock. But, like I said, just to guess, more potential striations on that big rock. I really hope I'm right. I think that's cool if that's what that is. There's a core drilling hole in that rock there. Alright, let's see your good one. Yeah, there. Nice. Ooh, real big pocket there. Anything else? Yep, that's, it. that's it. Sweet. So we left for lunch. When we came back, we decided to check out this other spot. It's off of a side road. Um, so in the morning, we spent most of our time up top, so further that way through the trees. Um, this is kind of the middle, and then down below is the main area where the sluicing and stuff is. So hopefully we can find some more here. We had some good luck this morning, so let's hope for the best. So I maybe just found the find of the day. So I was looking at rocks and I saw this sparkly bit here and I flipped it over and holy cow, look at that. Awesome, huge Herkimer. A little bit up on one side, but that's all right. I love him. <laughs> look at that. It's flat, it's only half of it, but uh, very cool. So one of the things common in this dull stone layer is stromatolite, which is ancient fossilized algal mats. And I think that's what this is here, all these lines. I think that's a fossilized stromatolite. <laughs> Look at that. Another little perfect little Herkimer. We have been a bit wary of another day of mining after finding so little next door the day before. But in the end, luck was on our side at Ace of Diamonds Mine. We ended up leaving with a few small, perfectly double terminated Herkimer diamonds, and quite a lot of chip crystals and amazing pieces still in the matrix. Overall, it was an amazing trip, and if you're ever in upstate New York, it's definitely worth the trip yourself. <laughs>